Yeah, you know, she can handle herself out there. I can definitely handle myself out there, that is correct. Safe knowing that I don't have to do anything. That's right. I got buddies who are forced to get in fights because some random dude disrespects their woman. Not this guy. I'm perfectly capable of fighting a man at the bar. Honestly, I think you could have taken that guy. I could have taken two guys, probably. Yeah, and I would just watch. The only thing I'm fighting is the urge to buy another slice with her credit card, you know? I can stand up for myself, okay? What is this business where I always gotta be between her and the road on the sidewalk? Like what, I don't wanna get hit by a car either. Oh, a woman can't get hit by a car just as good as a man can get hit by a car? You can get hit by a car better than a man. That right there is what I'm talking about. Yeah, she asked me out, you know, so I didn't really have to do much there, just add her to the roster, feminism and such. It's called having agency. She was down to smash on the first day, which was pretty solid. She said it was all empowering or whatever. What am I gonna say, no? It is empowering. <laughs> a deadbeat boyfriend and a feminist is a match made in heaven. Who would have thought? See, there's a reason for everything. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke Radowski here of WeAreChange.org. And man, oh man, do we have some troubling news coming out of Europe as of course the dark winter now is almost guaranteed with what many people are calling a deliberate sabotage of the energy sector in Europe with a major pipeline just busting wide open. Who is responsible? What's really going on here? Well, we're gonna be doing our best to uncover that as well as getting into the latest latest ploy, the latest scam to try to take away your freedom and your money. We're going to be talking about that plus a lot more. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you could get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is just a short clip from a full video by the amazingly talented Ryan Long and Danny Polishuk. If you're not following these guys, what are you doing? absolute comedic genius in their latest skit called the when feminist and deadbeat boyfriends actually agree a brilliant video highlighting some really important social commentary you want to watch the full video it will be down in the description below you could watch it right after this one and truly if you haven't subscribed to these guys yet what are you waiting for they absolutely deserve it especially with the the, the latest very spicy video that Ryan Long just released on his channel that we definitely cannot show you here as of course we're dealing with a wide range of censorship that is sure about to get worse as of course it looks like a lot of central bankers are coming out with new plans for CBDCs. Now what are CBDCs? Well they're not something you get at a gas station. They are central bank digital currencies that are parading around as larger Trojan horses for an American carbon social credit score and a cashless society that will of course allow the federal government to track database and stop you from being able to live in society in the biggest compliance test yet as they're trying to give themselves the power not only to see every single thing you do tax every single thing you do but also have the power and ability to approve or deny people from using money. This is not from an Orwellian movie, as already some stores in the United States are not accepting cash, as The Hill is even talking about how America has its own social credit score with, quote, several web giants, credit card companies, and major financial institutions that have their own systems that rank and rate personal users. This as today, the head of the European Central Bank and also a Bilderberg member came out saying that, quote, she does not like to see a new period of free banking due to cryptocurrencies and announced that the central bank digital currency CBDCs are required to quote maintain a role of central banks this as the U.S. Federal Reserve, another central bank, has been making similar arguments for regulations of cryptocurrencies that allow people to have some anonymity, some privacy, some freedom, while announcing that a U.S. central bank digital currency would not be anonymous, but still somehow have some kind of privacy, which uh, absolutely is a hypocritical Orwellian statement. Yeah, a balance of two contradictory ideas that of course cancel each other out. This as even if you look up and you search the term CBDCs on the Brave search browser, you get a plethora of many central banks all around the world vying for these particular projects. As already, it's important to note that 11 central bank digital currencies have been launched. 
15 are in a pilot program, 26 are in development, 46 countries are researching it, as two countries have already canceled their central bank digital currencies. And whether it's the US Federal Reserve, the Bank of France, we have to understand that these are plans and the groundwork right now being laid forward for total totalitarian track database cashless society that is extremely dangerous for people's personal freedom. Australia, a country that recently was arresting people for walking outside, a country that is going full forward with the World Economic Forum policies, as now over a thousand schools there are forcing their children to eat bugs, has announced that they're pushing forward with their central bank digital currency, which is due to be completed mid-2023. How will the Australian central bank and government use this authority? Well, probably in more national disgusting ways just like they have within the last three years if you're able to control all of the money you're able to control all of the people just like they do in China just as many Western leaders have been calling for a similar system here in the United States or even just recently the Prime Minister of New Zealand called for a global censorship system that of course would stop people having the ability to think freely stop ideas that the state doesn't want you thinking about right in its tracks you add that with a carbon social credit score, which they have been pushing for, you have game over for any kind of personal sovereignty, liberty, and freedom. And just as Congressman Thomas Macy said, quote, a monopoly on weapons of personal defense notwithstanding, traceable currency is the most powerful tool of a totalitarian government. According to Fed Chair, the central bank digital currency would be identity verified, so it would not be anonymous wake up folks and truly his words and messaging are definitely worth hearing the warnings of as of course i'm going to be doing a deeper dive on this particular topic later on on lukeuncensored.com and how you could potentially protect yourself we're going to be discussing that plus a lot more all here on this independent media outlet with our own platform now where we get to say and do what we want. No limitations, no censorship. This is not a family-friendly show. We get into topics and issues that go deep down the rabbit hole to be a part of that and our official forum, get exclusive merchandise, get access to upcoming events in real life, get three master classes, and get a video almost every single day. You need to sign up right now on LukeUncensored.com. If you haven't yet, what are you waiting for? It's just 50 cents a day. And not only do you get all this value, but you also help grow and sustain independent media. Your support is more crucial than ever. Sign up right now on LukeUncensored.com. Now, moving forward with our story this morning, we also got very troubling developments off the coast of Denmark, where, of course, the Nord Stream pipeline was just sabotaged, according to many official sources, as many people are saying that this was a deliberate sabotage of a major pipeline that provided Europe very crucial important gas that it is extremely dependent on since of course Europe decided to shoot itself in the foot and implement policies that of course destroyed domestic energy exploration and production they wanted to be dependent on Russia for some reason in order to help the the, the weather again none of this absolutely makes sense when you look at the official policies that they have brought forward especially when it comes to getting rid of their nuclear power plants but what happened today signals very troubling times ahead for Europe that will be absolutely significant for the people living there. According to a Swedish national seismology center, they have measured what they're describing as a, quote, powerful subsea blast in areas where the Nord Stream gas pipeline from Russia to Europe off the coast of Denmark has specifically busted open. This as the Danish prime minister came out and just said moments ago that it's, quote, hard to imagine that the leaks detected on Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines were, quote, accidental, as, of course, both pipelines were affected. We were talking about the previous pipeline in yesterday's video and its larger implications and problems that it's going to bring to Europe. Now, a second one, even Denmark doesn't believe that this was an accident. And, of course, now we have the finger pointing as Ukraine is trying to blame Russia for this deliberate sabotage of Russian gas to Europe, which Europe was financing the Russian government with and also the Russian war effort with 
with. Of course, the Russians are blaming Western governments for what is deemed a deliberate sabotage. And we have to understand, during previous global conflicts, undersea cables have been cut as a deliberate sabotage against opposing forces. This was specifically done in World War I, where undersea cables between Europe and the United States were cut. Is this somewhat of a deliberate sabotage? Well, who really knows? The Polish Prime Minister said, quote, that we faced an act of sabotage. And is it Russia behind this sabotage or is it the West? Which, of course, everyone is asking themselves as new video has been resurfaced of the President of the United States literally going on record promising that, quote, there no longer will be a Nord Stream 2 and that, quote, we will bring an end to it. Listen to this exchange right now. Let me answer the first question first. If Germany... If, uh, if Russia invades, uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. But do, but how, will you, how will you do that exactly since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control? We will, uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. Yeah. Now, whoever is responsible, whatever you may think is really behind all of this, we still have to understand the consequences from this will be very vast. As of course, natural gas prices in Europe have soared dramatically. And with the rising price of energy, you will see the rising price of everything else in our society. As of course, energy price is usually correlated with economic prosperity and the well-being of human beings. You limit energy and you have the opposite effect of that and you have more poverty, more suffering, and more hard life consequences for a lot of people in Europe now. As already, the Russians were caught burning millions of dollars of natural gas in the atmosphere as of course Europe was already cutting their supply to Russia not buying their gas their energy deliberately which of course had a negative effect on its citizenry Russia of course couldn't store the natural gas so of course they had to burn it off as we have to understand the situation that we're facing right now is not a coincidence it is not an accident it is deliberate shortages deliberate scarcity which will create a large amount of havoc pain suffering economic upheavals which i do believe central bankers are looming in the way of and on the heels of this tragedy will be using it for their own personal benefit to sweep up massive amounts of power and authority for themselves i do believe in my own personal opinion that this is the end game here you first must destroy a currency destroy its value destroy cash in order to bring in a new digital track trace carbon social credit score that of course is a part of the world economic forums vision of the future that you should be living with of course central controllers controlling every aspect of your existence and that's something that i do not want and if you agree share this video with your friends and family members it is more imperative than ever to get the word out about these specific videos if it wasn't for you guys doing that i wouldn't be here and this is why i love you guys stay tuned for more here on we are change the one more video coming your way right now on lukeunsetzer.com.